All right, phonics time. On your paper, put lesson 117. Two items in new material. All right, let's read through some sounds. Um, this prefix means not. In. This one means like into, right? Re. This prefix means again. D. What does this prefix mean? Not. Like, um, decline. Don't. No. It's to, like, go down. Mm -hmm. down. Uh, demote. Mm -hmm. Defeat. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like in... About. About. Oh. Against. Oh. Again. Oh. Okay. Um, B. B. Did that one have a meaning? I can't remember. Do it again. I don't think that that, I don't think they gave us a meaning for that one. Like behind. Or ahead. Because. Um, I don't think it gave us a meaning. X or eggs. Did that one have a meaning? I think. Like exit, like out. Yep, that's what it was. N, N. not in. N. N. But do you remember what N meant? I think it meant like in or into. Enjoy. Enjoy. Encourage. Mm -hmm. E, I don't think that one had a meaning. Come or come. Did that one have a meaning? We've gone through so many, I can't. Was that one a with? Like with something? Compare, complete, compute, combine. Okay. Con or con, construct, convince, contract, contrast, conclude, yes. I don't think that, did we talk about that one even? Yeah. I think it's the same as the com. I think it was um, with. Yes, it was. All right, next one. Dis. dis. Like dislike. Like disagree. not. Disagree. To not agree. All right, sounds. First sound. N. N. It's a prefix. N. Dis. This next one, three ways. If you want to put each of them on an, their own line, that's fine. Three ways. Cull. Prefix, come, like in the word complete, and our last one is a prefix, con, like condition. 
All right, you need your red pens. Our first prefix was N, E, N. Dis, three ways for coal. K L E and then C K L E. All right, the come come prefix and the cun prefix. Okay, let's read through some words. Pens, pencils down. Will, Will not. not. What's the contraction word? Won't. Won't. Do, Do not. not. Don't. Don't. Ooh. Does, Does not. Doesn't. Cannot. Are not. Is not, isn't, has not, did not, very good, had not, hadn't, would not, good job, well, there we go. Was not, wasn't, have not, could not, should not, were not, weren't. All right. What do all of these words, not all of them, but all of them on this side uh, and those two. Do you remember that rule that we talked about? What was that, Raylan? Can you help her out, Haley? Yeah, that one, 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 one short vowel, one consonant, one more consonant and then the suffix, right? So this word is dragged. What's the base word in dragged? Drag. Drag. What's this word? Sorry. What's the base word? Sorry. Base word? Sin. Furry. Base word? Furry. Base word? Sipping. Sipping. Base word? Sip. Just sip. Okay. Oh, Amy. All right. This word is grimly. What's the base word? Grim. This word is flags. The base word is flag. Okay. Some more of those one, one, one more. Okay, the word is slatted. What's the base word? Slat. This word is blotted. What's the base word? Blot. Rested. Base word is? Rest. Zippy. Base word is? Zip. This word is scarred. What's the base word? Scar. This word is? What's the base word? Rich. This word is rammed. Ram. What's the base word? Ram. And this word is? Bridges. bridges. What's the base word? Bridges. Okay. Trapped. Matching. Matching. Wedding. 
worrying, getting blurred, wishes, topping. Nonsense words, I say them, you repeat them. Okay? Stape. Stape. Gom. Gom. Fee. Fee. Flom. Flom. Tosk. Tosk. Stike. Stike. Crane. Crane. Tie. Tie. We sound like we're speaking a foreign language. More nonsense words, I'll say, you repeat. Press. 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 Spart. Spart. Chape. Chape. Grack. Grack. Spung. Spung. Fret. Fret. Clope. Clope. Smo. Smo. Again, I'll say it, you repeat it. Glay. Glay. Swoat. Swoat. Prift. Prift. Plo. Plo. Cly. Fly. Croat. Croat. Thark. Thark. Treem. Real words. Read them to yourself. Let's read it together. She discarded the empty bottle. Again. She discarded the empty bottle. What does that mean she did? She threw it away, the empty bottle. Next sentence. My friend didn't dispute the claims. Again. My friend didn't dispute the claims. This just means he didn't, like, fight against it. Okay, read those to yourself. Read the first one together. We weren't able to compete in the contests. Is this complete? Compete. Okay. Again, we weren't able to compete in the contests. Next sentence. I couldn't hear that last remark. One more time. I couldn't hear that last remark. What's a remark? It's what someone says. It's like a comment. Okay, let's spell some words. And then we'll go into our new material. Our first word is twinkle. Compact. Compact. Have you ever heard of a compact car? Yeah. Means a really small car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's really small. All right. Can't. Can't. I can't go with you. Enjoy. Enjoy. We need to enjoy our last four weeks of school. Yeah. Aren't. Aren't. Aren't you glad it's almost summer? Yes. Yes. Yes, because it goes down, but now I have to school. All right, our next word hotter. Hotter. Hopefully it gets hotter soon. Still feels like winter. Our next word is confine. Confine means like in a small space. Are we confined in here? No. In a way, maybe, just because.
because we're kind of just in our classroom instead of around the whole school. Yeah. All right. Isn't. <laughs> Thankfully, it isn't Monday anymore. Enforce. Enforce. Do we enforce certain rules at school? Yes. yes. Do your parents enforce certain rules or expectations at home? Yes. All right. Our last word is weren't. Weren't you in the principal's office this morning? No. Yeah. Miss Blessing, what was the second word? Because I didn't. Cause I Compact. Was... Compact. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do a sentence. Everybody ready? Yes. Okay, yeah. listen, repeat, write. Why won't their disco ball spin? Once you have that written, pick up your red pen. Okay, our first word was twinkle. So the twa. Ink. Ooh, that's supposed to be a K, but I didn't pick up my pen. <laughs> it looks like I was trying to make a star. All right, our next word was compact. So the com prefix. And then p a k t. Nope. Compact. All right, can't. Contraction word. So we think of the word cannot, can't, enjoy, prefix n, and then the word joy. Remember oy at the end of a short word, or the oy sound at the end of a short word is oy. Okay, another contraction word, aren't. What two words make up aren't? Are not. Are not. Are not. So we think of are first, and then mm, the O is replaced by the apostrophe, and then our T. Okay, I got all of them right so far. All right, our next word was hotter. Hotter. So think of the word hot, one short vowel, one consonant, one more consonant, E-R. Confine, so that con prefix, and then the word fine. I don't know, because I always count the sentences sometimes too. All right. Isn't. What two words make up that contraction word? Is not. Is not. So think of the word is. Mm. 
a contraction or an apostrophe in place of the O and then T. Mm -hmm. Two words left. N force. The N prefix. And then F or C is that S followed by an E. One word left. Weren't. What two words make up that contraction word? Were not. Were not. So we have to spell the word were correctly. Were. Not. Weren't. Out of those 10, that would be like an 80%. Okay. So each one is worth 10 points. So if you missed one, it's a 90. Two is an 80. If you missed three, it's a 70. If you missed four, it's a 60, and so on. All right, let's talk about the sentence. Why? Capitalized. Yep, make sure it's capitalized. Won't. What two words are that contraction word? Will not. Yes. But that's one of those strange ones where it totally changes. So W-O-N apostrophe T. Why won't. There. Now it's talking about something belonging to them. Because it's saying their disco ball. So it's showing ownership. So it's the T-H-E-I-R. There. Why won't their disco ball? Ball. And then the last word in that sentence was spin. S-P-I-N question mark. I got them all right. Okay, does everybody have this? Yes. Can I get rid of it? Yes. So that we can go on to new material? Yes. All right. New material. It's a prefix, pre. and it happens to be pre. pre. And what did we say prefixes mean? Where do they go in a word? At the beginning, right? Thank you. Okay, so pre means before. So go ahead and write the prefix pre down on one of those short lines. Can you think of any words that have the pre prefix? Oh, I just gave us a word. Natalia? Pretend. Pretest. Preheat. Preheat. Prepare. Prepare. Those are perform, provide. All right, let's look at some of the words they give us. Predict, pretend, precede, prefix, prefer, prevent, prepare, prepay. All right. Um, write down... Pretend. Present. Present. Was that one of the words? Nope. 
And since it's a prefix, let's write prefix. Okay, so the first pre word that we wrote, because we're talking about the pre prefix, what was our first word? Pretend. So pre t and tend. Pretend. Our next word that we wrote was present. Is that what it was? Yeah. It also looks like present, doesn't it? But if you present something, you're saying something to a group of people. And then the last pre word that we did was pre fix. What does the pre prefix mean? Everybody? Before. Before. It means before. Okay, we have one more prefix. Prepay means to pay before you like fill fuel or pay before you get your product. Like if you order online, do you have to prepay for it? Yes. Yeah, you have to pay for it before you get it, don't you? Okay, our next prefix is pro. pro. Okay, so write pro down on your next short little line. This prefix means like forward. Can you think of any words that have the pro prefix in them? Okay. Protect. Provide. Provide. Proceed. Proceed. Protest. 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 No. <laughs> Let's look at their words. Program. Protect. Process. Okay, so it could be pro or prof, right? Profess. Propose. Profile. Protest, promote. All right, you have the pro prefix written? Yes. And what did we say that prefix means? Forward. Right, forward. All right, our first word. Let's do produce. Produce is like fresh fruits and vegetables. Or produce could be to make something. So we have the pro prefix. What about the deuce? Part of it. D U C E. Um, protect. Protect. All right, so we know it's the pro prefix. What about the t act? T act. We're going to do one more protest. So obviously it's the pro prefix. What about test? T -e -st. T -e -st. All right. In 
your phonics packet to get out lesson the lesson 117 page. Um, this is like things we've done before, where we have to add the prefixes and then rewrite the words. And then we're going to use those words in these sentences below. There are two words that will not be used. Let's talk about some of these words, though, because I think sometimes some of you get a little confused with what, what they mean. What does it say the prefix is that we're adding to all of these words here? Pre. So let's say what those words would become. Prevent, prepay, prefer, precede. Okay, let's talk about some of those. Do you know what it means to prevent something? Like to keep it from happening, right? Prepay, we talked about that one to pay before you get something. What about prefer? Rather. No. Yeah, something you'd rather have, something maybe you'd like it better. How about precede? Like something happens beforehand. Okay. Now we're going to add the pro prefix to these words. So this word becomes Promote, program, protest, proceed. What does promote mean? What do you think, Amy? Like, like giving something, like in a, in a job, you can get promoted. To right. If you're promoted, do you, like, move up? or kind of move forward in that company, okay? What about program? Natalia? You would like, in a robot, you would like make them do what you say. Right, so that it works, right? So that it can move forward there. Protest. Does that mean you're a pro at taking tests? No. No. <laughs> Haley? Like, like, right, kind of like fighting for what you believe in. Okay, what about proceed? Any guesses there? Connor? Um, like, like keep moving. Yeah, to keep moving. Onward and forward. No, because pre means what? Before. All right, so then you're going to use six of these words up here to complete these six sentences. Six? Did I say sick? I don't know. Six sentences down below. Friends, we are not rewriting the sentences. What are we not doing? Rewriting the sentences. Okay, so after you have written the prefix and you've rewritten the word, and you've written the prefix and you've rewritten the word, and you've filled those six in, find someone else that finishes up about the same time that you do, compare your papers, and then um, you can come get a sticker from me Put those in your mailbox, and then what do you think you're going to do? I read it. Okay, thank you. Any questions? No. no. All right, you may work.